This man died in 1964. This drawing of him was made 40 years later by a psychic artist who had never seen him or met him. This woman died in 1976. The drawing was made by the same artist in 2001. This man died in 1998, and in 2004, the same artist drew his portrait. You're about to meet a unique team of psychics. Michael Perry claims he has the rare ability to communicate with the dead. Even more astounding, his wife Marty Baker is able to draw pictures of people who have passed on. Remarkable claims, the proof positive will put to the test. Over the past seven years, Michael and Marty's psychic gifts have made believers out of hundreds of people, many of them hardcore skeptics. Uh, being skeptical is okay. I'm a skeptical person. I wouldn't believe everything that somebody said to me. But if the information is very, very accurate, it has to be coming from somewhere. After they were married 10 years ago, Michael helped Marty develop her psychic skills. During their sessions, Michael communicates with the dead. Marty wears headphones and listens to music, so she can't be influenced by what he's saying. She uses what she calls her spirit guides to create a picture of a dead loved one or friend. Oh, that's my dad, is it? Uh, it's very scientific. You know, it's not an airy-fairy thing. It's not hocus-pocus. It's, it's just a part of life. It's pretty amazing, because it's so accurate. When I first saw it, I thought it looked like my grandma, but I had to find a picture to compare it to. I was amazed. Marie Westrope met Marty and Michael two years ago. At their first session, Michael gave her very specific details about her late husband. My husband's spirit came through right away. He talked about, was he a golfer? And I said, yes. And he goes, well, he's got his golf clubs. He's smoking a cigar. He talked about, uh, we had season tickets to the UCLA for years, football. He said he's wearing his UCLA cap. Just as impressive as Michael's reading was the drawing that Marty made. It was a sketch of Marie's dead uncle. And I was a little bit afraid to look at my picture. And when I came back home, I was just almost a little bit spooked because it was too specific. Susan Hannon felt the same way. After a session with Michael and Marty, she was presented with this sketch. Oh, I was so amazed. When I saw the picture, I knew it was Adley right away when I saw it. I said, that's Adley. That's my ex-husband's mother. Are Marty's sketches proof positive that she and Michael can really communicate with the dead? We selected five people at random for a specially designed test. Michael and Marty will do a session with each one. They know absolutely nothing about the five people or anyone on the film crew. The subjects have been instructed to reveal as little as possible during the session. Test subject, Bonnie Freeman. I have another guy here with your father. He has a brother? He did. Right? Did he die young? Young. OK. This is who he's with, his younger brother. Somebody went in a vehicle accident connected his, to you. His brother, Fred. I oh, feel that I'm a, an intuitive person, and my sense about them is that they were genuine. Test subject, Alfonso Hernandez Anaya. We crossed seven years ago. Is that your dad? No, my grandmother. You got to say goodbye to grandma? Yes. But you weren't there when she died? Is she like 5'2"? Five, 5'1", two? Five, five, two. Who? Your grandma. Yes. Test subject, Mila Bozar. Mila hopes to contact her dead husband. Who's gone five years? Um, my fiancé. Your fiancé? Are there two children to him? Yeah. She was... You didn't know Mickey Rooney, did you? No. 
Michael appears troubled by a jumble of spirit voices supposedly speaking to him at the same time. He takes a moment to meditate and refocus his energy. I don't like it when it's like this. Though he tries to decipher the cross signals, Michael is overwhelmed and abruptly stops the session. Test subject, Jan Courtney. I just saw a horse here. I have. It wasn't my horse, but yes, it was the horse, horse I was close here. to. That yeah. said that you, like, you knew me. Do you still ride? Mm -hmm. Michael not only connected with Jan's horse, but also her dog. Again, Michael and Jan had never met before this session began. And is there a B name with the dog? Yes. Is it B A? Yes. It sounds like Batley or Bat Bat Batley or something like that. Okay. Mhm. Mm what is the dog's name? Bayard. Bayard. Oh. The animals he was right on with, which was very amazing to me. I'll just throw that in because I thought... Aside from Miller's session, Michael has been extremely accurate with his readings. According to our subjects, he's been on the mark nearly 80% of the time. So Michael seems to be making his case. But is Marty making hers? This is the sketch she did for Bonnie Freeman. I'm not certain just yet. People often don't immediately recognize Marty's sketches. The crucial connection is usually made at home when there's time to look through family photos. For Alfonso Hernandez Anaya, Marty drew two sketches. One that seems to be connected to Alfonso's Aunt Pat. Right, she'd be a daughter. She wears a lot of makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be Pat. That's Pat, right? That's Pat. Yeah, that wears a lot of makeup. Uh -huh. No idea. Again, Mila Bozar was hoping to contact her dead husband. Michael couldn't make the connection, but perhaps Marty succeeded. Hmm. Is there anyone called Bernard or Bernie? That was the one who just died. That's Bernie? Mm -hmm. And that's not him? No. Really? No. There's one last test subject. Judd. Test subject, Judd Kilgore. And what happens during this session surprises everyone. Have you broken your leg? No. What about your brother? No. No. Michael appears to be connecting to people on the other side. Does one of them have the B initial? B? But Judd doesn't recognize any of them. Oof. Nice. No. Was anyone in the war, like the Second World War, connected in your family? Not second one, no. There is somebody here called Billy. If this makes sense to anybody else in here, you better say something. I totally have somebody from, like, the Second World War here, okay? Who, like, broke their leg on gangrene or something and lost their leg. I think it's for you. Your great uncle, World War II, had one of the bones blown out of his leg on a landline. Did he? Lost his leg? He, he had one of the bones here with a brace. I think, I, have, I think I have somebody here for you, okay? <clears throat> In a remarkable turn of events, Michael seems to be speaking with the dead relatives of one of our own crew members, Alston Chapman. Is there somebody called, Buck, called Buddy? Like my dad's dad was named Buck. Maybe um, I wasn't making that great a connection with Judd's grandmother. And so his lot decided that they were going to bust in on me and, uh, like, make a full-on connection with me because they were, they were just stronger energies. Maybe they, they were just more determined. Marty had the same experience as Michael, drawing somebody that apparently resembles relatives on Alston's grandmother's side of the family. I've been here taking notes for uh, every person that's come so far. So I just kind of started taking notes to myself of what applied to me. And that last time, it was uh, just too uncanny to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> the testing is complete. Michael and Marty can only wait now for the test subjects to go home and search their family photos. One week later, 
Our subjects gather to reveal whether or not the sketch that Marty drew resembles the photo of a dead friend or relative. To bring it up. So the picture that Marty drew for me, I was a little confused about at first because I'd never seen anyone in my family that looked like that. Will any of the photos actually match the sketches? Will this case be judged proof positive? Communication with the dead. A mysterious creature, half man, half beast. Handwritten notes from a ghost. Which case do you think will test? Proof positive. Michael Perry and his wife, Marty Baker, are a unique psychic team. Michael claims to speak to the dead. Marty claims to draw them. I think the fact that we work together is pretty unique as husband and wife. We've had hundreds of skeptics that have come to us that have left non-skeptical. Michael and Marty put their talents on the line in a test we devised. Five people, selected at random, underwent a psychic session with Michael and Marty. At the end of each reading, Marty presented the subject with the sketch of a dead person whom she claims is connected to them. Our subjects spent one week searching their family photo albums. All but one returned to reveal their findings. First up is 81-year-old Mila Bozar. Remember, her reading did not go well. You didn't Mickey Rooney, did you? No. Did Marty do any better with her sketch? I see my uncle in this, and that made me very happy to get Mila this. says the sketch is a match for her favorite uncle, Ken, who died in 1994. I can see it here in the lips, up here in the hair and the ears, the glasses, of course. When I first uh, looked at the photo that Marty drew, I couldn't bring it to mind because I think I remembered my uncle more when he was younger. Bonnie Freeman is next. She was thrilled with the reading Michael did for her. Who is the person that does psychology? Roberta, my sister. She's a psychiatric nurse. Was Marty's sketch as accurate? I didn't recognize who this might be, and I'm still trying to figure it out. So I'm circulating his picture via email, showing it around. I made photocopies. I'm really actively seeking who this might be. Now it's Alfonso Hernandez Anaya's turn. During his reading, Michael connected with the one person Alfonso was hoping to contact, his grandmother. You got to say goodbye to Grandma? Yes. But you weren't there when she died? Correct. Marty did two sketches for Alfonso. I introduced these pictures here to my mom, and she again said, no, they don't resemble anyone of our family members. Um, I showed them to a great aunt. Also the same thing. Therefore, there were no matches. The last person to reveal their sketch is our crew member, Alston Chapman. During one of the test readings, Michael Perry unexpectedly started to connect with spirits related to Alston. I totally have somebody who, like, well, I feel like broke their leg or gangrene or something, lost their leg. The great uncle, World War II, had one of the bones blown out of his leg on a landline. Is the sketch that Marty drew for Alston a match? When Marty first gave me the drawing that she did, I didn't know who it was, didn't look like anyone in my family. And my mom didn't recognize it. And then my father, as soon as he saw it, he said, oh my God, that's Thomas Alston. And that is who I was named for. So do Marty Baker and Michael Perry truly have psychic powers? Marty created matching sketches for half of our returning test subjects. As for Michael, all but one subject rated his accuracy during their readings at better than 70%. While there's no accepted scientific measure for psychic ability, those kind of numbers are difficult to ignore. In our judgment, this case is proof positive.